Maonyesho ya kilimo na biashara ya Nairobi ambayo yalianza siku ya Jumatatu hapa jijini Nairobi yaliingia siku ya pili hii leo huku wakulima wafanye biashara na mashirika mbalimbali ya serikali na kibinafsi yakiwa tayari kuonyesha bidhaa na huduma zao mbalimbali kwa umma na wengine wakifanya gusa gusa za mwisho za maandalizi. Maonyesho haya ambayo kaulimbiu yake ni kukuza kilimo na miradi ya kibiashara yenye mapato kukuwa hiyo uchumi endelevu yanalenga kuleta pamoja wadau katika sekta ya kilimo na biashara ikiwa ni pamoja na viwanda biashara ndogo ndogo na za wastani ubunifu teknolojia za kisasa kuboresha kilimo huduma za kifedha na matangazo pamoja na maonyesho ya moja kwa moja yakiwa ni baadhi ya mambo ambayo watakaohudhuria watashuhudia kwa Ben Wanjusi na Kitare mkutubi mkuu kutoka makavazi ya taifa anasema wao licha kuja hapa kuonyesha huduma zao mbalimbali wamefika hapa vile vile kuhamasisha umma kuhusu tunzo mazingira na jinsi ya kupambana na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi kupitia sanaa Today we are showcasing Mama Sidelina This is the cry of mother nature depicted through art whereby we are involving young people or the youth in in combating climate change through art When you look at this tree you may find that this is Mama ne Mama Sidelina lakini mama Sindelina ni nani kulingana Ben Wanjusi na kwa nini anatumika katika uhamasishaji wa mazingira Mama Sindelina is a mother of all times because nobody depends on it and no people depends on it but it doesn't depend to anybody This is Mama Sindelina because she's a mother of all times When you look at Mama Sindelina it has very beautiful colors that symbolize the power of nature and also when you look at it its branches it symbolizes the resilience and interconnectedness and this when you look up there you find that it has different kind of animals of different species and this species depends on the tree which we call mother nature and now it's called mama sidelina this mama sidelina is so crucial that when you down here it has different colors that changes as it changes is because of, of as it ages as the mama sidelina ages it changes its colors the act down here you find that it symbolizes the creed and the need of human activities human activities that affect this kind of plants these plants are not planted they grow naturally because they are very important to all of us and these plants when you look at them like this you'll find that it has also that kind of uh, beautiful eyes that mama sidelina is crying because it used to have a husband yes mama sidelina is crying because it used to have a husband who died long time ago on the other side it used to have the children these children also died and as it died it was it, it, it shows that it's the only one remaining and as it remained it shows that maybe it's going extinct and it's wondering what to do Kenya ni miongoni mwa nchi zilizoathirika vibaya na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi katika pembe ya Afrika kulingana na shirika la chakula na kilimo la umoja wa mataifa FAO. Jambo ambalo Ben Wanjusi anasema wao kama makavazi ya taifa wanafanya juhudi katika kuhusisha vijana katika mchakato mzima wa kupambana na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi kupitia sanaa. And because of this, we as National Museums of Kenya, we are trying to involve the youth in coming up with ways on how we can combat climate change through art and this art is the one that will go around and see teach the nation or the public on how we can conserve trees these trees are very important in the whole world and without it we can't survive this is a mother nature that if it thrives we will thrive but if we destroy, we destroy it we will all be destroyed this time today we have come at the national nairobi nairobi international show where we have come to learn something we call promoting climate change climate smart agriculture and trade initiative in sustainable uh, uh, economic for economic growth we need to understand that without without conserving this environment we may experience so many problems farmers are using a lot of or struggling so much because of this climate change which is eroded and now they have decided to do what to go to adopt smart climate smart agriculture for these things it's very important to address these issues through this kind of uh, artistic way on how to combat climate and i urge all kenyans 
to adopt this kind of technology, innovativeness, in the, using young men and women to come up with ways on how to combat climate change. Rais William Ruto anatarajiwa kufungua rasmi maonyesho hayo ya siku Jumatano. Jumatano. Naitwa Francis Ngara na shukran za dhati nikitumai tutaweka juhudi za kukinga mazingira kwa nini wajibu wa kila mmoja wetu.